continuity written for species A in form of velocity. Okay. Again, every time we start, I mean, in this section for mass transport, you, to, you should notice that I usually use vector form. I rarely use the expanded form because vector form would be easier for us to use because you need to plug the diffusion flux by using fixed law later. Okay. Now let's start eliminating terms. The first term is zero at steady state. This term must be kept, right? This term, is there any diffusion? Yes, so therefore it must be kept. Is there any reaction? Should we keep this? How about this? Yes, so can you solve it? No. What did I say? Whenever you, you see the equation that is too complicated, you need to start looking again which term you should, be, you, you should eliminate. Is there any term that you can eliminate? R is zero. Why? Please don't say that because the reaction is extremely fast. No. If reaction is extremely fast, the rate is supposed to be very high, right? It's not, it's not negligible. We can eliminate this because reaction takes place on the surface only, right? And we're taking equation like this, it is like taking a shell balance. Our system is liquid. Shell is supposed to be inside the liquid. So you need to ask yourself whether there is reaction within the liquid. Within here, is there any reaction? No, reaction takes place only at the surface. So therefore, every term relating to reaction would be zero. Okay? So, now we have two terms left. Just to be easier for us, I'd like to remove C, the total concentration, to be inside differential equation. I can do that as long as I assume that Total concentration is constant. Is it constant? Yes. It's not indeed constant, but it can be assumed constant. Because right now, majority of species is solvent. So this total concentration involves solvent A and B, right? But majority is solvent, so let's say solvent does not change by the reaction. So I'm going to say that this one is rough, roughly constant. Remove this, or can, you can move it into differentiation here. So now you have V star dot CA. Also, JA star According to Fick's law, we have, since we have, how many species do you have? Three. Do, can we have Fick's law? Can we use Fick's law? For this particular state, for this particular level, in your level, if you cannot use Fick's law, you're doomed, right? You know only fixed law, you know only one thing. But in real life, 
you need to, uh, to be aware that there is other law rather than fixed law. If the concentration, I mean, if the mixture is consisting of A, B, and S, 33%, 33%, and 33%, in that case, you can never use fixed law. Okay? But in our case, S is dominating. You have majority, majority is S. So if you look into amount or species, you have A, B, and S. Majority of the species in our system is solvent. Minor, diluted A, diluted B. If A is diluted, A is reactant. B, which is a product from A, is supposed to be diluted as well, right? So therefore, in our system, it's mainly S. So then, I'm going to combine B and S together and assume it to be pseudo-binary. I can do that as long as you have one dominating species. But if A, B, and S are almost equal in terms of concentration, you can never do this. Okay? You will need something higher, something more complicated, which if you are interested in that, you can learn it in advanced transport phenomena. Okay? After combination here, I'm going to say this one would have properties approximately the same as solvent because B is so small. The content of B is so small. But just to be different, I'm going to say S bar or S prime. This is not POS anymore. Okay? So when you have two species, A and S prime, flux of A, J A star, can be written using fixed law. It's equal to minus C D, not A B anymore. It's A S prime, right? Don't be, don't make a mistake here. It's not A B anymore. And then, del X A. So if you dot J A by del. Minus sign here, minus sign there would cancel out. Del dot del would equal to del square. That's Laplacian. So the left hand side of this equation, you have V star dot C, del CA equal to the right hand side. As long as diffusivity is constant, I can take it out from the dot product. You have DAS prime. And then, if C can be taken to be constant, I can move it inside differentiation here. And th then you have del dot another del, which is called Laplacian of CA. From here, this is still in vector form. Then you can expand it to the coordinate that you choose. Right now, we choose cylindrical, right? For this, the dot product in cylindrical coordinate can be written like this. And then, Laplacian in cylindrical coordinate can be written as well. And definition of dot product and definition of Laplacian in all coordinates will be given to you in the examination. Now, once you expand the equation, next step is try to eliminate some, some terms. Can we eliminate this term? 
is VI0. Is it zero? Is it absolutely zero? If we have single species in our system flowing in the pipe, VI is zero for sure. But right now we have movement of molecule by diffusion along our direction. It might not be zero. Particularly if the reaction is 1A getting into 2B, for example, then the flux in our direction, the net flux, might not be zero. In that case, there will be convection in R. Okay? But comparing with flow that you force it, force it to flow in Z direction, VR here is very, very small. So here, you say that this one is negligible, approaching zero. Similarly, not similarly, for V theta, it will be definitely zero because the system is symmetry. There will be no change in along zeta direction. Vz is not zero. Ca does change with respect to z. Okay? So this term must be kept. Does c change with respect to r? Yes, this term must be kept. This term, on the other hand, can be treated to be zero. How about CA by Z square here? Is it zero? No, it's not. Because CA does change with respect to length. So you have, at the end, you have one, two, three terms. Can you solve it? No. So what should you do? Drop one more term. Which term? Why? Because it's powers of two here? Yes, very good. So you, you need to drop this one based on assumption. Okay? You need to understand physical meanings. On the left hand side, the term on the left hand side is related to velocity here. That means this one is somehow like convection. On the, right, on, the left hand, on the right hand side, I'm sorry, it has diffusivity up front. So these three terms are related to diffusion. So this is diffusion in Z direction. This is diffusion in R. Of course, when you have concentration difference along Z direction, there will be diffusion in Z direction, right? But in this case, if you compare between diffusion and convection along z direction, which one is dominating? I'm not comparing these two terms. I'm comparing this term and that term. This is convection, this is diffusion. Both of them take place in the same direction. But we know that flow is forcing fluid to move. So diffusion is negligible comparing to convection. So this one is neglect, not zero.